Hey, it's day. And welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome if you're new here. Hi, I'm Nay. So today I wanted to talk about some fragrances that I've been wearing lately that I've just been getting compliments on or I just felt like, dang, sis, you smell good. But I have at least gotten at least two compliments in the last mm, month and a half while wearing these fragrances. So let's hop, skip, jump right into it. The first one, I'm going to pass by these first two quite quickly because I have gassed them to high heaven. They deserve all the gas, right? Giving hot air balloon, floating around, the sun is setting, we're enjoying the beautiful view. It's gorgeous, but I'm going to go through them quickly. These two, first two. This is Navitas Parfums Lost in a Dream. Y'all, the dent in here is probably like here at this point. And I want you to remember that Lost in a, uh, Navitas Parfums fragrance bottles are at least 100 ml for the most part. I love this fragrance and I feel like it gets better and better every single time. Like every like two weeks, it just gets better and better and better and better. It's just wonderful. I really don't feel like I need to talk about this too much. It's like a spiced, woody, fluffy, uh, milky fragrance with this very interesting bready smell with like a layer of like a little bit of sugar on top. It's, I didn't even do it justice with that comparison, but I have a video that actually I think got like a, like 1200 views or something where I talked about this fragrance ad nauseum. So go check that video out. So that is Navitas Parfums Lost in a Dream. I get a compliment on that fragrance so often, but I layer it with a lot of things. So the next one I'm going to go quite rapidly on. This is... Is this more than halfway <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's okay. I'm going to have to calm down with this anyway soon. I'm like quite literally here on this fragrance that's insane oh my gosh i just saw a beautiful red bird this is club de nuit imperial by armand i'm noticing a lot of people talking about this fragrance now so i'm very very glad that it's getting the hype that it deserves because this fragrance is absolutely spectacular and the price point is actually in like amazing i love the price point this is Delina, Delina exclusive dupe. I wouldn't say that this one to one. Some people think that everybody smells is different, but the orange in here is much stronger in the opening than the uh, Delina exclusive, and there's much more creamy sweetness to this than Delina. But it's definitely in this family of that Delina line. If they took the juice of this and put this into a Delina bottle, I would one thousand percent believe it's worth that three hundred price dollar price of Delina, like or apart from some early fragrances. So yeah, that is Club de Nuit Imperial White. I get a lot of compliments on this fragrance, like a lot, a lot. That's probably one of my most complimented fragrances in my entire collection. Here's Paint Me Up. This is another one I've been getting compliments on lately. Do you see this dent? That is, hold on, let me make it all pretty for you. Do you see this dent that is denting this fragrance? It is already here. I love this. I don't think this is the most miraculously new smelling scent profile I've ever smelled, but it's a pretty girl scent. And it's bubby, like bubbly, fizzy, sweet, um, fruity, with a touch of powderiness in it. And it's just, if I, if I, I just want to smell good. I reach for this if I didn't know what I was going to wear scent wise and I just put on any old lotion or whatever it works with just about everything and I've been getting compliments on this I do think it I got it for a really good price I got it for like designer prices I think it was like 130 140 which is pretty good and this is 100 ml guys and it got this pretty gold flex in it I I don't know I think it's worth I think it's well worth the price I think so um, the bottle is absolutely gorgeous. The cap has definitely some weight to it. I think overall the packaging is amazing and the scent is amazing. Sorry if you see me guys rub digging out my eyes and my nose. I, I try to thug out <laughs> allergies for as long as possible, but I think I'm going to end up having to take one today because I just, 
they can't be bothered with this um but yeah i absolutely adore this so pretty i think it's blackberry that's in here oh gosh guys it's it's almost like um they got the blackberry powder like someone used organic fresh blackberries dr dried them out in the dehydrator and made a powder and then mixed it in this fizzy somebody said it's not like champagne i feel like it is i feel like it's like a prosecco i get a slight touch uh, it's not like the driest champagne in, in the nation like there's some really expensive super dry champagnes that are like oh wow this is champagne like i want Damrosa because people are saying that champagne no it's champagne um and i want that too this is like a like a baby champagne like prosecco I, I feel like i smell prosecco but it has much more of like the blackberry powder mixed into it and uh maybe a little maybe raspberry i don't know it's so good so that's pick me up i've definitely been getting compliments on that oh my God, i don't want to put it like that why did i do all of that aggressiveness next i'm actually about to slow down on this until mona releases it again for me to purchase i will not be using this again i know i said i have no problems about using up fragrances but this is something that i feel like i i guys look at the dent This is Kayali's The Wedding Silk Santel. And I know some people was not that impressed with it. That is fine. Everything is not for everybody. This, I think, is an amazing fragrance, though. This has a sparkling texture to it, but the sweetness of this pink praline and nectarine and the sugar and musk coat this in, like, a creamy texture that is not lactonic. This... It's so smooth, yet sparkling, and it's sweet, and it's really nice, and I really like this. I really do. I actually really love this. This would be something that, that would be like, oh, if you had to go repurchase fragrances, like if you lost your collection, or you had to sell, whatever the case may be, and you could go repurchase fragrances. Well, first of all, I'm not going to be able to. I know, you know, some of these YouTubers can go and drop good, good money and repurchase like six fragrances in one. I would have to do like one to two fragrances over the course of six months, right? To get to a collection that I feel like, okay, maybe I won't go back ever to the size I had, but I want a reasonable collection. And maybe every other week I could buy like two fragrances in a six month span. That probably be one of them if it was available for repurchase. If that was something like, oh, well, I'd have to buy this now. This would have to be my first fragrance repurchase. I would have no qualms about that because it's just a fragrance, especially in the warmer weather that is absolutely beautiful but it also works just like as an everyday scent it's like one of those it's like a gentle fluidity gold type of fragrance it doesn't smell like gentle fluidity gold i'm just talking about that vanilla that is just very very appealing it's very appealing but there's things about it that are a little different this fizziness in here this this pink pink praline i don't really feel like i've smelled pink praline so prominently in a fragrance before and the sandalwood with the sugared musk is creating this creamy layer that is not lactonic and i just think it's it makes the fragrance so smooth i don't know i just think this is this was a wonderful concoction like i don't know some people think kayali is overrated i think mona is probably a mastermind at marketing one and two i think she's got at this point of at least one fragrance at least one fragrance in her whole collection at this point would be for you i feel like but let me know what you think on kayali that is the wedding so all. hold on what a break the kayali's yum pistachio gelato is here guys i love this i'm not gonna talk too much on this one either because i think people are now really starting to realize how great this fragrance is i still don't understand how so many people are not getting the booze you know in here i really think sometimes i get blessed with a batch that is just macerating longer or you know what it is also my skin absolutely adores boozy notes woody notes um gourmand notes so it really pulls the heck out of them and this is a boozy sweet nutty 
fresh, slightly fruity fr fragrance. Mmm. I love this. Oh my gosh. I, and I get compliments when I wear it. Now, I am an oversprayer for a lot. Not all of my fragrances. Um, but a lot of my fragrances. So that also probably helps. But people always just say I smell so delicious. Oh, this k Lee one. Oh my gosh. This one. Oh my gosh. And the, the oil content is insane. Anyway. This is newer to my collection. These next... These next three are newer to my collection, um, and I but I've worn them at least five times to be able to tell you. But I get compliments on these guys. This, I'm just telling you like it is. Mystique Bouquet by Afnan. <laughs> just go buy it. If you don't like, if you like, if you like Valaya, like 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 bare minimum. Like yeah, it's nice. All the way to if you're obsessed with Valaya, I think you need to have Mystique Bouquet in your collection. I don't think I need to go too heavy in details on this because some of the top YouTubers, well, okay, some of the top fragrance YouTubers to me, gas is to high heaven, like, um, to high heaven, and I completely, a thousand percent understand why. This is not a one-to-one -one dupe for me to Valaya. There's something in Valaya that's a little different than this one, and this one to me has a little more sweetness in it, but it's very close. It's the scent profile for one ninetieth of the price like i do like valaya but i love this and the reason i bought this is because i like valaya i don't love it i like valaya but and i was like i'm gonna like this but for 30 35 dollars it's gonna be fine i'm gonna wear it i love this look at this dent let me turn it this way so you guys can see this dent that's already amassing in this this just works well with most of my fragrances as well as it just works well. This is actually what I'm wearing today with this next one I'm about to talk about. Um, these two are layered together right, right now. It's one of those things where a lot of the time I wear fragrance in the morning time. And what I wear in the morning time is not necessarily what I'm going to wear either throughout the day or at night time. It just really depends on what I'm doing. Like I'm about to go out tonight to go to eat with some friends. And... I don't think this is probably not what I'm gonna wear tonight but it's one of those fragrances that every time I shift it's not punching me in my face but I got like if I wore this six to eight times I've gotten five compliments for sure from this and my husband compliments me every single time I wear this every time every time like clockwork if I spray this he smells it and it, it could be I wore it in the morning time, and then he comes home, oh my gosh, there is a blue bird and a red bird on my tree. Like, red, red, and blue, blue. Oh no, bye, red bird. Bye. Oh my gosh. What I love about spring is when I'm in my house, and I love to open up the blinds and stuff, and let the natural light in, right? Because the daylight is daylight like it should. And I get to see from the safety of my home. Meaning the bugs can't bother me. I get to see these colorful birds. From the safety of my home. So the bees don't bother me. Because the bees just... I love bees. We need bees. Bees, bees, love you. But not in my face. Not in my face. Yeah, thanks. Anyway, love her. This is award-winning honestly like if i were to i'm thinking about doing that actually i <laughs> oh my gosh what is her name uh not olivia what is her name oh my gosh she's amazing she's one of my favorite youtubers i cannot believe her in space right now but she does the awards every month where she'll talk about like worst bottle prettiest bottle best purchase best buying buy best going out for like she does like that, I think, every single month. And I might start doing something of that nature. Well, I'll do like an awards of like, this is, this is what. Because um, I just think that is one of my best purchases so far of 2024. So far. I really do. And the price is cheap. I'm mixing that right today with Vanilla Skin by Fleur. This is, this is good. Um, I think it's going to give. Charosa and run for its money. This is very nice. Would be very intelligent. And they might have already have it, and I just don't know. But would be extremely intelligent on Fleur's end would be to drop a body cream. 
or body lotion of this this is uh extremely nice so you have pink apple sugar crystals lily pink pepper jasmine petals cashmere wood benzoin vanilla sandalwood and agar wood and i wouldn't say this is not like a dupe to charosa i'm glad it's not this pink crystals pink crystals and that's not what it is in here the sugared crystals and the pink apple with the pink pepper definitely give this a little extra vibe and the jasmine in it gives a little grownness not that charosa isn't grown but that's a gourmand and to me like just a gourmand this is a gourmand but it also has bigoman tears in it i i should have just got the big bottle and i'm gonna see how long it takes me to get halfway through this i think once i get halfway through this i will then go ahead and just go purchase the big bottle i think this is one lovely oh gosh love this manila skin <laughs> <laughs> great this other one is also quite new to my collection i've only had this not long but i've worn this four or five times four or five times because like i said i'll end up layering stuff maybe in the second half of the day or if i change my outfit because i showered i just showered midday I will, so I can sometimes go through four fragrances in one day, right? Because I wear two earlier on in the day and two at night. And this is Forever Moods NDA. To me, personally, this is probably one of the more niche scents in the collection. I, I like the entire collection. There is a high chance I'll end up purchasing the entire collection. However, this one is top dog. NDA? NDA? Don't with her. Don't bother her. Don't upset her. Just be nice, polite, and remember your manners, and you'll be good. And keep your mouth shut. I'm not going to go into this too far. I... Last week? I don't know. I, I released not that long ago when I unboxed this. This is so lovely to me. This is so lovely. Oh gosh, I I just love it. Go watch my unboxing of this and the I Am Her fragrances. Oh, let me show you the little denty dent so you guys can see I'm actually wearing this. Do you see this? Ugh, insane. For 80 bucks for a 1.7, yep, 1.750 ml. 80 bucks and if you bought it during the sephora sale like i did you got it for 63 dollars and some change for 50 mls thank you jackie let's keep it moving this is also newer to my collection but look at this dent already starting to form here i blind bought this and this is they only had the bigger bottle because i got it off a of joma shop but i got this for under 100 dollars Now, I was a little concerned about this tuberosal in here, because it is tuberosal. I had smelt it in the store a while ago, but, and I remembered liking it, but, like, you can smell the tuberosal here. And if you were any, if you're not a stranger to my channel, you know that I am not the biggest tuberose fan. That super bubblegummy smell is just not for me i love this as you can tell by the dent i've already put into a 100 ml bottle this is narciso rodriguez's musk noir rose for her i'm gonna be honest with you so sometimes i feel like the fragrances get hype purely because it just hits at the right moment by the right person talking about it and that's all this is not one of them. Uh, I think it is a sexy fragrance. It is a beautiful fragrance. The tuber if you don't like tuberose, but you want to see if you could possibly grow to accept it, you might want to test out this fragrance. I have another fragrance that has tuberose in it too. So I, I can't say I hate it because I obviously have two fragrances that have the tuberose scent. 
but I think that there is two distinct different types of tuberose. And let me know if you agree. You have that heavy on the bubble gum. Like it literally smells like the oh man, it used to be and they used to have like the baseball facts or something type of gum, like that big bubble bubble it not bubble it's just I don't remember, but it was like round and you would unwrap it from the waxy whatever and you eat it. And that is what some tuberose smells like to me. And I I actually haven't chewed gum in so long. Once I found out that gum could give you cavities because of the amount of sugar, I just said that was a, a thing that I just don't need, right? Like, I like chocolate. I like ice cream. I like a glass of wine. Pick their battles. And gum was just not one where I was like, I have to consume this. So I, just, I haven't had it in years. Like, since before my, my firstborn son was born. So that is basically four years that I haven't had gum I don't think I've had gum since yeah so musk noir rose I do smell a pinch of the bubble gumminess in here but the other two rose that I come to my nose is this almost like great candy-esque tube rose so it's still a candy vibe but instead of going hardcore bubble gum something about it it's almost grape like to me I can't smell it I'm burning the Bridgerton Queen Charlotte tea for uh candle. So good. I don't remember. I don't remember the notes in here. Oh, not in my mouth, please. There's something a little like spice, rose, sexy, musky, but not like crazy powdery. Something dark in here. But it's still got like a sheerness to it, but it's dark, but it's rich at the same time. How are you rich and sheer? I don't understand. Maybe it's like giving like the, like the bottle, like it's a strong color, but you can see through it. Like a fruity texture. Maybe there's like, is it plum in here? The dark fruits, like it's dark. It's giving the dark arts. Like it's giving, what's that teacher's name from um, Harry Potter who was like S Snape, maybe? And he turns out to be a good guy. That's kind of like what this is. Like, you're like, whoa, you, you're dark. Are, are you a bad guy? And then, like, later on down the line, they're like, how oh, you thought I was, but I'm actually not. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, that is Must Know I Rose. And then the last one I want to talk about today is Mancera's Roses Vini. Oh! Now, this is one I don't crazy, crazy spray because it is a very strong fragrance, but it's that Jammy Rose <sighs> with vanilla. I mean, there's some other nuances, nuances to this, but it's basically that. So, like, if you like KLA Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper, if you like Missy Yours Absolutely Blooming, if you like Delina La, Ro La Rose or even, like, Delina... It doesn't smell exactly, those all don't smell exactly the same, but it's the family. It's the family I'm talking about, right? So you would like this. It's great. I get compliments on this. It's an uber feminine fragrance, an uber feminine fragrance. Oh my gosh, there's some gust to her. Let's play Sarah Rose's Vinny. Oh, real quick, I wanted to talk about this. Everything in my life can't be super healthy, but I can make certain choices here or there that is going to potentially be a little bit better than what's mainstream out there. I got this humble aluminum free deodorant. I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again. Aluminum is not the end of the world. A lot of these things that these ingredients that people talk about, they act like a dead yaga dead the second you use it. A lot of stuff is all about most things in, in life. I'm not gonna say all because maybe there's outliers but most things even water guys like too much of anything is not a good thing right it took me a solid like month almost to have like my, my body do like a detox almost of the aluminum that was under my arms because it, a lot of people I feel like a lot don't feel like it works because it takes a while for your body to get used to obliterating odor without the aluminum but I've been using it for over a year now, aluminum free deodorant, and this is, this one is newer to, um, this brand is newer to my aluminum free collection because I really like Natives, 
um i know there's fragrance i do have i believe the fragrance free one too um but this is the native sensitive aluminum free baking soda free native deodorant and cotton and lily i really like cotton lily i think i've been through like three of those i i think i have i don't know oh i always have one in my purse but that one is another scent but it's like i don't really like the super gourmandy or super sweet or super punchy strong underneath my arms because it can counteract against the fragrance i wear and i don't want to have to stress my deodorant like like the whole process of deodorant all the time so i usually get the fresher scents this is simply unscented the original formulation there is baking soda in this one though so if your underarms don't like baking soda which is the sodium bicarbonate i mean don't use this but i haven't had a problem so far so no alcohol, paraben styes, or artificial fragrance. This is just the unscented one, obviously. And when they do the scented one, I think they just go ahead and use essential oils. So it's up to you. I mean, do, guys, it's your life, okay? Life is too short to not just make your own informed decisions, look stuff up. Because I know, I feel like people judge content creators a lot because they're like, you know, they did their own research and then nobody else wants to do research their research is just staring at content creators but take listen to content creators and then go like go do your own research before you make an informed decision for yourself right i'm liking this so bad though um so far though i'm liking this so far though it's nice um doesn't have scent but i don't smell <laughs> i don't smell like like, I don't smell my body odor, and I've been cleaning all morning, running after my children, potty time, cleaning up. Like, it's just, uh, I love this. And I ended up getting this on Amazon. I got three of these for, like, 25 bucks. I understand some of these deodorants are expensive, especially if you, like, some of the deodorants you can get for, like, four bucks. So, you're going to be like, wow, that's absolutely insane. But when would i have to rebuy deodorant now that i have three of these and keep in mind i still have my other two from native right now you know what i mean so like i one thing i've realized is just buying in bulk is gonna help then three of a deodorant is bulk for me i know some people are like i got 10 15 that's awesome so let's study wins the race you know what i mean i gotta i gotta start out slow with the <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching this whole video let me know some of the fragrances that you've been getting um compliments on you know the weather is starting to weather it's starting to warm up nicely um but it's still a little crisp but it started to warm up a little bit let me know do you like uh aluminum free or do you just like you like aluminum in your deodorant either way i'm not judging you i just want to have a conversation thank you so much for watching this whole video hopefully i'll see you in my next one it's got a snail look good feel good smell good have a great day